Explicit and implicit costs are combined together to make opportunity costs. And explicit costs are the easier portion of this. They are the obvious stated, the like explicit cost of an action, typically associated with a defined number monetary value. For example, you pay five bucks for a cup of coffee, or you join the gym for 50 bucks a month, or you pay an employee a 40K salary. These are all explicit costs because they're actions you're taking that have defined monetary values. Whereas implicit costs are the values of the foregone options you're choosing not to take in favor of the one that is associated with the explicit cost. For example, let's say you choose to open a business instead of accepting a full-time salary. You're missing out on that full-time salary. It's the next best alternative, and therefore it's the implicit cost of opening a business. Or maybe you choose not to invest in the stock market and hold on to your cash. You're foregoing interest on that investment, and therefore it's the implicit cost of choosing not to invest. The easiest way to identify you're working with an explicit cost is to ask yourself, is there a direct monetary value Value associated with it and are we choosing to take that action for implicit costs the easiest way to identify is asking yourself are we doing something instead of this because if we are that means that this is the next best alternative that we're passing up an easy mistake I see students make when it comes to explicit versus implicit costs is assuming that just because a cost has a dollar amount associated with it that it's explicit that's not necessarily always the case sometimes your professors are gonna test you and associate dollar values to implicit choices that we're choosing not to take on on the flip side, just because a option does not have a stated dollar value, that doesn't mean it's not explicit. If we're choosing to take that option and it theoretically has a cost behind the scenes, then it's still an explicit cost. We don't necessarily need to see the dollar amount. To make sure you're understanding this correctly, I've got a free three question quiz on the site that will just serve as a quick gut check to make sure that this is clicking for you. And if you found this video helpful, feel free to like or subscribe. But more importantly, if you've got a friend in your economics class that you think this would help, please share it with them.